Good morning, I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Wednesday morning, March 6th, 2024. In the headlines this morning, for the third time within a year, a special referendum has been defeated in the Clarenda School District. By only three votes, voters rejected the district's voted physical planted equipment levy. Unofficial results from the Page County Auditor's Office show the pebble of $1.34 per $1,000 valuation received 376 no votes or 50.2% to 373 yes votes or 373 votes or 49.8%. In Taylor County, the referendum failed by only a single vote, 24 no votes or 51% to 23 yes votes or 49%. Only a simple majority was necessary in order for the PEPL to pass. Now, proceeds from the PEPL would have been used to fund facilities projects on the district's wish list for the past five years. Many of the projects were included in the two bond issue referendums defeated by voters in 2023. Now, voters in the Glenwood School District also said an emphatic no to a revenue purpose statement yesterday. Uh, unofficial results in the Mills County Auditor's Office show the special referendum rejected with 868 no votes or 54.46% to 723 yes votes or 45.44%. Approval by a 50% majority would have extended the statement from 2031 to 51 and allowed the district to use funding from its Secured Advanced Vision for Education or Save Funds for specified building projects. Plans called for using the saved dollars to borrow against future state sales tax revenues to construct a new home for the district's central offices, Kids Place, and a proposed innovation center on district-owned property near the high school. Sydney City Councilman Justin Shirley is the city's new mayor. Unofficial results in the Fremont County Auditor's Office shows Shirley winning Tuesday's special election with 163 votes, or 69.7%. Challenger Brandon Van Syok finished second with 40 votes, or 16.95%. A former mayor, Kenneth Brown, placed third with 31 votes, or 13.14%. Shirley succeeds Warren Forbes, who was elected mayor in November, only to resign in early January. One other special election took place in Fremont County yesterday as voters in the Hamburg School District easily passed a revenue purpose statement uh, by an overwhelming majority. And President Biden has won the Iowa caucus. He'll be awarded the majority of the state's delegates with his Super Tuesday win. Biden is expected to clinch the nomination later this month. The win comes after a major shift in protocol by the Democratic National Committee, which removed Iowa's first-in-the-nation caucus status. Iowa Democrats instead sent a presidential preference card through the mail with their pick for the presidential nominee. KMA on track weather, partly sunny this afternoon, highs in the lower 60s. Tonight, mostly cloudy, lows in the low 40s. More news at 1205 and 105 this afternoon and online at KMALand.com. Have a pleasant rest of your Wednesday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.